Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about JSON. So JSON is a very powerful grouping language. Um, it's the JavaScript object notation. And so basically it's an object inside of JavaScript, but we can do that with PHP and it makes it very valuable to basically hand off information from one language to another or from website to website, from page to page. Um, in the last video, we talked about arrays. Arrays, uh, you can't really hand that off to another site as a variable because it loses that array information or sometimes it won't just won't even let you hand it off. You can do some other stuff with arrays to make that work, but um, the best thing to do is to use JSON. And JSON gives you the ability to pass that between different types of languages. And it's a very easy thing to learn. If you're trying to write the JSON by yourself, it's it, it's a it's difficult. Like if you're trying to say, all right, I've got this array of information and I need to create it as a JSON um, string. And you say, okay, open bracket, open, you know, parentheses, single quote, name is equal to, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna miss apostrophe. You're gonna, miss, I mean, uh, not an apostrophe, but you're gonna miss a comma. You're gonna miss a, you know, you're gonna miss something in there and it's gonna be invalid JSON format. So what we've done here on arrays in that last video, we're gonna use that to talk about JSON. All right, so let's get started. So here on our page that we were doing arrays in the last video, if you didn't see that, I'll link it up in the you know cards up here and I'll put it in the description. This is just an array of names that we created earlier and it's a multi-dimensional name, uh, multi-dimensional array of names, ages, and access for each individual person. Now we put this into a function down here. We don't really even have to do that. We can just use it like we were before and print out that information here. All right, so let's get rid of that. We're gonna show you, whoops. We're gonna show you right away what, um, what JSON looks like and how, how to pass it around, all right? So here we have arrays. Let's go to our page here. All right, so this is the array that we created, the multi-dimensional array. We've got name, age, access for you know five different people. One, two, three, four, yeah, five different people. We're gonna put this into a JSON format so that we can hand it off to a different language or a different site. How we do that, and this is really, really easy, is we can say names underscore JSON is equal to JSON encode. Now, this is the basics of JSON encode. You can tell it how far to go and stuff like that, but really, if we have a simple array like this or a multi-dimensional array that's not huge, then we can just say JSON encode and dollar sign names. And I can link this in the, um, the php.net code, you know, inf description for JSON encode into the description of the video here. You can go into more details about the um, the other attributes it, attributes that it accepts, but for our default use here, we're just going to say names. So, so now if we print out the names, it's still going to show us that array, and then if we print out the names underscore JSON, it will give us this string right down here. Now, basically what that's done is it has taken the array and created a uh, JSON format that is easily passed between uh, different softwares or different languages and different websites. This is just a string of text now that you can pass somewhere and they will format, unfor uh, decode it and use that information. So up here, we're printing out the array and then we're printing out the JSON, but what we wanna do is decode that JSON. Let's, let's create a variable called um, all names. And we're gonna JSON decode 
and we're going to use the names JSON where we encoded it up here, right? So now we're going to names JSON, we're going to decode it, right? So now if we do print, it's going to say all names. Now, by default, uh, let's leave this up here. Let's leave our array up here too, just so we can show you really quick. All right, so now we have our array of names. Then we have the JSON here that it formatted this into to be able to hand it off and share it and stuff like that. And then we decoded it. But if you'll notice, when we decoded it, it put it into an object. Now, we haven't talked about objects in this series yet. Object is another thing similar to arrays. It's a way to group um, different items into um, a, a group so that you can use it across different things. Now, objects are a little bit different because of how you use objects. And we can get, we're going to get into those into another video, but if you do the default JSON decode, it's going to automatically give it to you as an object. Now, the variable that we can put right after this is a Boolean, which is true or false. And after this JSON decode, JSON names, we can say true. And now if we save that and we come back over here, and now it's going to put it into an array. So we were at an array then we convert it to JSON, and then we convert it back to an array, all right? So passing that JSON information helps, you know, it, it speeds up things, it makes it easier to pass between PHP and JavaScript, which we do quite a bit of, um, and even into a function if you want. You can pass that string of text into a function and use it that way, decode it and use it. If you're just passing that an array into a function, I would just leave it as an array. I wouldn't take the next step to convert it to a JSON. But if you're passing it to another language or another website or maybe another even another section of your site, um, like the admin area or something like that, you might want to put it in, in JSON format. Hope you like this video. Hope that information was valuable to you. If it was, share it with someone. They might see value in it too. Remember to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, like this video, comment if I missed anything or there's something else you need me to expand on, and I will see you in the next video.